Hey everybody, welcome back to c Turbo Robotics channel. Um, wanted to share, I guess you can call this one of my regular Joe reviews. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see a lot of these on the on YouTube before I got this something done, but uh, I had a procedure called balloonoplasty done um, yesterday. Um, I have suffered from deviated septum. Um, constant chronic sinitis, uh, rhinitis, uh, bloody noses, uh, ear popping, uh, everything for a really long time. Uh, I would say it's been about eight years. And my doctor has told me to go get C and E and T for multiple occasions and um, kind of just put it off and put it off and put it off. And over the past couple of years, it's progressively gotten worse to the point where I was seeing a doctor almost... Um, I would say four to five times a year um, for um, sinusitis, sinus infections, and getting antibiotics and steroids and everything like that uh, over and over and over again. Um, I finally met an ENT over in St. Louis. I'm not going to name their name. Um, and they said they, they wanted to do an inpatient surgery um, where they basically go in and correct the deviation in your septum by carving away bone um, and re rechanging the internal structure of your face um, and then afterwards coming in doing balloonoplasty which is an in-office procedure uh, it takes about an hour to do um, it's not invasive well I didn't like that idea I didn't like the doctor um, and I went and started doing a lot of research on this balloonoplasty surgery and it's a new newer procedure um, basically what they do is they take a silicone type balloon and some apparatus and they stick them up your nose and they expand the balloons in your cavities to push and move away uh, the structure and um, open up your passages uh, to help. Uh, and they, they say it's got really high success rate um, and it's not invasive in, in the terms of in comparison to, to a septoplasty surgery. Um, so I had that procedure done yesterday and I'd like to just share real quick what it was. I'll try and keep this as short as possible because I know I, I, I talk a lot. Um, so um, my surgery was yesterday morning at 1030. Um, prior to the surgery, they gave you a prescription. They gave me a Valium, um, five pills at five milligrams of Valium, uh, one Vicodin and one Zofran to help with the uh, stomach, I guess, because uh, I've never taken any of those uh, medications. I'm not a medicine guy uh, to see, you know, to make you feel better to, to go do this. I was very, very nervous. I was extremely nervous. I went to a place called ENT and Sleep in Shiloh, Illinois, with a doctor named Dr. Shaw. Um, they were unbelievably awesome, so I can't recommend them anymore. So if you're in the Midwest area around Scott Air Force Base or anything like that, uh, look at ENT and sleep in Shiloh. Uh, they, they've been great. They've been beyond great. Um, but they told me he, when I went and met him, he said, you just need the balloonoplasty and I can get you taken care of. I can make you, your life a lot better. Uh, so the procedure goes an hour beforehand, you take all of those medications, the five volume, the Vicodin and the Zofran. And then you spray your nose with Afrin 30 minutes before the procedure starts. Um, you go in, they uh, check your blood pressure, they lay you down. Uh, they put a little like wet cloth over your eyes because the light from the doctor's, um, you know, headlamp and tools have lights on them. Um, and they go up there with a the camera and they're looking to see what they're doing. Um, the whole procedure took about an hour, maybe a little longer. Um, this side being my really bad side, it was extremely bad. And this side was was semi-okay. I could breathe out of this side, but I could, I could never breathe out of this side. I wake up in the morning, it was completely congested, and I'd have to spray with all kinds of chemical crap to try and get me to be able to breathe. Um, they talk to you through the entire thing. Yes, you're awake. Um, but the volume <laughs> um, makes you really not care. Um, it does make you a little loopy, makes you a little imbalanced. I had to, you know, use walls to walk and stuff like that. You know, put, brace myself on walls as I was walking, but not, I wasn't 
a total moron. I wasn't out of control. I, I, I felt really calm. Um, I was laughing and joking with the entire staff the entire time. Um, but they stick multiple tools up your nose. Um, they expand these balloons and they push things around and move things around inside your face. Uh, there's some crunching you hear, which is a little weird, but it sounds like somebody taking like a potato chip and crunching it in their hand. Um, and that, that maybe is a little disconcerting, but I was kind of laughing about it because you don't feel it. You just hear it. Um, and, uh, they dig around in there for a little while and, and, uh, immediately after they finished this side, he, he had some, uh, Novocaine like plugs in this side of my nose. And he says, can you breathe out of this side now? And I literally could breathe out of that nose and I haven't been able to breathe out of that nose in a really long time. Um, and then they went and did the other side and then they kind of kept me for about 10, 15 minutes to make sure I was okay afterwards and sat me up and explained, uh, you know, hey, we, we think we've got most of it, but we'd like you to come back in about four weeks to take another look and see if we can make this even better, if there's other things we can do. Um, the Immediately after leaving, um, I, I did have some bloody nose, um, and they, they plugged it with some, with some dissolvable things. Um, and then going home, um, I think the medication really started to mess with me. Um, I did get sick, uh, just real quick, real brief. I, I, I threw up a little bit um, and started to feel better. I was extremely tired the rest of the day. Um, felt like, kind of felt like you'd been in a fight. You know, if you've ever been in a fight, you were tired and worn out or almost like you've been sick all day, you know, that kind of feeling. Um, and you can hear now I'm still kind of congested. Um, I spent most of the night um, getting post-nasal drip that was blood. Um, it's just spitting it out and spitting it out because the stuff that I had threw up was, it was blood, um, but it was dried blood in my, in my water, um, which is fair, very normal. Um, and I spent most of the night just spitting out blood. Um, uh, but I was never pouring blood out of my front of my nose, which is what I typically would be dealing with when I had a nosebleed. Um, so it was manageable. It was just uncomfortable, but it was manageable. Um, you know, your, your throat's a little numb during the procedure for about an hour, hour and a half, um, kind of hard to swallow. Uh, they gave me very tiny sips of water uh, because my mouth was getting extremely dry. Um, but afterwards, um, last night, I, I just kind of took it easy. I just got in my pajamas, laid down, um, ate, a, ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich afterwards. Um, and then um, just relax the rest of the night. And I was able to eat dinner. Um, I was able to walk around, but I was still a little loopy from the medication. Um, and then last night, I would say right, right before bedtime, uh, this side in specific, um, because it's been clotted up with blood and whatnot, this side in specific opened wide up. I can, I, I can breathe like I've never been able to breathe before. Um, I crashed out and fell asleep. Um, got up this morning. I was congested again when I woke up. Uh, I used the, the Afrin spray. They told me if you have blood or you can't breathe, use the Afrin spray. Otherwise, use a nasal rinse because ideally you're going to be using a nasal rinse. Um, I immediately opened up this morning right after that and I could breathe out of both nostrils, um, which I haven't been able to do without... Uh, you know, breathe the right strips and all kinds of stuff and extra sprays. And um, I've been taking it easy today, um, but the procedure, it, uh, to be honest with you, is extremely simple for what it was. Um, I worked it up in my head a whole lot more than what the procedure was. The staff was awesome. Um, and I am less than 24 hours from the procedure right now. Um, I have no blood coming out of my nose. I am congested. I kind of feel like I've got like a sinus cold a little bit. There's some pressure up here. Um, I can breathe, um, but there's still every now and then there's a little spotting of blood in the post nasal drip. Um, but if you're, if you're having sinus problems, chronic sinusitis, uh, and you're looking at what to do and you're, you're you decided to search balloonoplasty, um, 
I hope you find this video and I, I just want to rest you assured that it's a very simple, simple, simple procedure. Um, if I wanted to, I could have went back to work today, probably. Um, I'm a little tired, so I would probably not best. I should take it easy, but you know, I did it on a Thursday. I took Thursday and Friday off of work and I'll be back at my work on Monday. Uh, I think by tomorrow or Sunday, I should be back at full speed, no problem. So uh, rest assured, it's a very simple procedure. It's, it, I'm glad I did it. I, I already feel better. I mean, immediately when, I, when the procedure was done, the doctor asked me, take a deep breath and see if you can, how you feel. And I took a deep breath and it was the biggest breath that I've taken in a long time, in many years, um, through my nose. And... Um, it felt really good and to the point where, um, you know, I started to tear up in joy because um, I, it's, you just don't even know how much you miss that kind of thing. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm ready to finish my healing and I'll probably post an update video in about uh, a week just to kind of share what one week after is like. Um, because I know the septoplasty surgery where they put you in the hospital and put you under, um, that can take multiple weeks to recover from. But 24 hours, I, I mean, I feel okay. I'm walking around the house fine. Uh, I'm probably going to do some grocery shopping later this afternoon and taking it easy from there. But uh, it, it's a good procedure. I, 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 it was very simple. So don't be afraid. Don't be concerned. I would highly suggest looking at this option or talking, finding an ENT that does this option. So uh, just wanted to share. I know there's only a couple of videos of people out there with these, um, having these done. So um, good luck and feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you're, if you're interested in like, well, how bad was this or how bad was that? You know, the worst part, honestly, uh, was after they numbed you, uh, you know, when they numb you with the things while you're laying down and they, they, they do shoot. Uh, Novocaine into your, I guess it's Novocaine, I don't know, it's the numbing stuff um, with, a, with a needle into your nasal cavities and passages and whatnot. Um, that has ephedrine in it, um, so it does make your, your heart race a little bit, which makes you feel weird, but I mean, you're taking a, a volume that, that, that kind of uh, eliminates that. So, sorry for the long video. Um, that's pretty much it, and I'll, I'll post in about a week to see how my progress is. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to ask any questions.